listen and learn. Learn and listen. The facts are fun. Okay, so let's take a quick look at something fun if we can. I'm working on a, some more projects and some templates and things for everybody, and one of them that I kind of like is a, a little thing I'm going to call paper cutouts here. And as a lot of you may know, that I am not a big fan of images just being dropped into PowerPoint and kind of left flat and static like this dude right here. Okay, almost always, I will at least do something to make it, I'll click on it, do something to make it pop off the page just a little bit, maybe add a drop shadow or, you know, almost anything <laughs> to me is better than this. I liken it to a amateur kind of mistake is to just kind of put images flat on the piece of paper, especially since there are so many interesting things you can do with PowerPoint automatically. Just move this over here and all you have to do is just kind of roll over these things here and you can get all kinds of fun stuff kind of going on here. All right, so all that being said, I like to look for interesting things to do. So what I have here is something that I'm working on called paper cutouts. And I got this idea somewhere, probably from Duarte or, I don't know, some PowerPoint guru somewhere. And I really just kind of liked it. So here's a little example. Here's a lovely young gal here, and I had an image, and all I did was I used this little technique and kind of make her pop up from the bottom, but you'll notice hey, it kind of looks like I cut it out of a magazine or something like that, and now it's kind of incorporated into my presentation, right? So you can take regular images like this, and I'm just going to kind of make them cut out like. Okay, now again, this is an effect, and you don't want to use this all the time, but hey, it's really kind of simple to do, so I thought I would share with you how you might go about such a thing. So let me give you just a, a couple of uh, quick tips and points here. First of all, this works best with certain kinds of images, and the images that this works absolutely the best for are ones that look like this. Okay, and by look like this, I mean singular image, a whole image, nothing is cut off or anything like that, on a white background. And you can find thousands of these. If you think about it, the effect we're kind of going for here is a cutout character, I guess could a way to represent it. And you can find images like this just darn near everywhere. So this is the kind of image that this particular trick works best for. I'll go ahead and just make this guy a little bigger. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go to format and I'm going to go to remove background. Okay, and then what you do is you just kind of play with this. Uh, what you'll notice is, and you can do this with any image, but some work better than others, and what you'll find is that PowerPoint uh, should do a pretty good job of defining the white and removing it. The bottom line is the white background makes it easier to get rid of what you don't want. Okay, and let's see here. I need to mark this area to keep. I just kind of draw it out a little bit. Boom! And then I say keep changes. See that? It's nice and clean. If you go to a place like Photodune or Dreams Time net or stock image file. I don't care where you get your stock images. Let's just take a quick look. Under almost any category, certainly I might do them for business. So I'll be able to show you ones that work well and those that might not work quite as well. For example, uh, this image right here, yeah, it's really just probably not going to work for this kind of effect, right? Because, well, part of the background is part of the content. Yeah, that's not real good. Or something like this may or may not work, but you notice it has a gradient background there, and it's just going to make removing the background a lot tougher. But let's just scroll down. I haven't done this, actually. Uh, here, this will work. Okay, this will be able to be easily remove that white background. Oh, here we go. Boom. This uh, lovely lady right here. Again, sometimes I, I will want a whole image, but this would work. But you notice where she's cut off on the bottom. Well, 
that's okay because what we can do is just kind of you know have her come up from the bottom of the page of the slide here so that might be kind of interesting so there's all kinds of images that are available that you can do such a thing with if you want to and again it's not just business it could be anything let's look at the food category real quick certain images will work great some will not see where, where images are cut off like this yeah that could work uh, if I'm gonna put it in like a corner or I don't know you know it just it, it won't make as much sense but I'll bet if we scroll down here there we will find imagery that that you could go ahead and use okay so that being said let's see how to do it so what I did there was oh, I just kind of removed the background and now we got our dude here all kind of solo on the page and here's how you kind of add that effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a shape and the shape I'm going to add specifically is called the free form and if you don't know uh, what that is you can just kind of hover your mouse over these yours will be different based on your recently used but uh, you're looking for this graphic here this geometric shape and it's called freeform so just hover your mouse over it till it says freeform and then basically all you need to do is just to kind of start clicking away now it's kind of hard for you to see but I have a little bitty line here and all I'm doing is is just kind of uh, putting points in here and there and you don't have to be precise with this in fact the effect works better if you just kind of you know keep it outlined and not be too perfect with it you know you're cutting this thing out with scissors and not necessarily even doing all that good a job with it so all you do is kind of go around this guy and put a bunch of these points in and angles okay and again it does not need to be like a quality job or anything like that to pull the effect off uh, just make sure that you are outside of the image and you don't like cross over into it right or it's gonna goof you up and cut him out literally so I'm gonna cut him out and then once you get to the end here you just kinda double click okay now I have this uh, kinda outline type of a thing here and at that point what I wanna do is just for uh, demonstration purposes here I'm gonna move this guy off so you can see what we have here is a shape now okay and I need this to be white now depending upon the last settings you used and stuff like that this might be white already it might be blue it, it might be anything so I'm gonna just right click on it and I'm gonna go to format shape and I'm gonna pick the stuff that I want I'm gonna pick a fill solid fill see now it's white and in this particular case I don't want an outline either so I'm just gonna go ahead and format shape and turn the line color off no line okay so now I can put this dude back on top here oops and this is what will happen uh, so you'll notice that I need to make sure that I also uh, send this guy to the back there we go so now I have this little cutout thing cool huh? and the way to kind of wrap this up then is I'll go ahead and highlight everything and then right click and group them okay so now I can move them around as a group and for a lot of times this might be just fine for the kind of work that you want to do but I'm going to show you a little example of notice on this particular one I have a drop shadow here and to really pull the effect off that's the nice thing notice how it pops off the page almost like it um, really is a piece of paper cut out if you don't put a drop shadow on it this is going to kind of be eh, again kind of flat now there's a trick you need to do to pull that off so what you can do is add a drop shadow I just right click on it and save as picture right so now I can save it as a picture I'm gonna call him dude one okay and if I insert that picture where's dude one there he is 
see now it's not a group consisting of a shape and an image it is a picture and I can add all or do any of the cool formatting the presets here let me do so that's almost the easiest way to, to just quickly add a drop shadow or something like that so let's delete that guy and here's kind of my final depending upon your background color it you know you might not be able to see it that well but watch what happens here I'm gonna copy him and let's put him on a white background there you go see how much it pops with that drop shadow and of course you can adjust the shadow dimensions and eh, you know all that good stuff here you can play with other things too like uh, let's do a little glowing I'm gonna use the preset so you can so we can preview it the glow effects there we go you know I probably take the shadow off but certainly you can play around and do all kinds of interesting things with it. So I hope that's fun and useful. And Susan says the other advantage of saving it as a picture is that you can import it into other PowerPoint files in the future. Excellent point. So we can enter it in as other PowerPoint files in the future. Oh, and by the way, we can also do the same thing in Camtasia. In fact, if I go to my library here, oh, I don't have one. You know what I need is I need my head cutout thingy here somewhere. Let's import media. And I'll bet I have one here of me. There we go. Cut out one. So now if I wanted to use this as a call out, let's put that there. There we go. Welcome to the coaching call. Da, 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 da. Sweet. Excellent. Any questions on that? Um, that's all I have for tonight, everybody, unless anybody has a burning question. I hope that was a little bit useful. And what I'll probably do is, uh, you know, put just a, a couple of slides here, and I'll make that as a template download, uh, just so you can kind of see the grouping or whatever. Susan says she's going to try the cutout effect. Do it. And show us uh, in the Facebook group, you know. Uh, like I say, I, I actually use this quite a bit. And let me leave by giving you a little bit of a sample here. If uh, I'll put a link in the chat box. Here's how I actually use this. And again, it works not only for, this is a, a blog post. It works not only for, you know, a headshot here. Let me just let this roll for a second. You'll notice I also grabbed an image off of Amazon. Made a cutout out of it. See? So product images, by the way, if you go to Amazon and uh, see that, what kind of image is that? Oh, it's an awesome product image with a white background. Boom! So easy to do. And that's kind of the effect and what it looks like. If you're here live, oh, I like to make sure that I engage. I like it. Fun. Susan says, I've seen it in Nancy Duarte's video. Yes, that's probably where I got that idea. And I just decided to try it. And, you know, there you go. Oops. There you have it. Oops. All right, folks, I'm going to let everybody go. It's late. We're done. It's in the can. And I hope it was useful for everyone. So we'll see you all later. And have a good one. It's time.